Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Last time, we, um, we ran around as, we, <laughs> we played as Murray and kidnapped a general who we then tickled as we an asked him questions. We then played as Sly, which we are still doing the same mission now. We went and broke open a evil wolf queen's coffin. We basically went and vandalized her grave. We're very good people now, Sly. And, um, she got angry, and ghosts flew out of her coffin everywhere. And we actually want to capture these ghosts with, um, our camera. And we're going to drop them down the chimney of, uh, we're going to drop them down Neela's chimney and play a dirty little trick on her. And she's, she's not going to think it's funny. Um, but we will. I will be thoroughly satisfied. I will actually probably have this expression right, right when she gets scared. Maybe not. It depends on how I feel back at that point in time. Yeah. Okay, let's keep on going. Woo! Climbing thing. Oh, dang. I, I look at my skill. Oh, wall climbing. Wall climbing. And I'm actually going to ditch getting a, uh, a ghost there for that bottle. <laughs> Just because it was really nearby. And like last time, in the last episode, or the last world... I'd like to say because I I I I name my I number my videos by episodes and then slide two just happens to be in episodes so I, it's hard when I say well in episode one we uh we did something and then when you go back to episode one and you're all like we didn't do this except actually we might because episode one did it take I'm not sure if we got to do Paris in episode one I think it was around episode two maybe I don't remember when we started Paris. Um, it was in the first few episodes, though, because it's the first world, but then you get your, uh, you've got your intro tutorial, intro tutorial world, and I don't know how long that took. I think it only took an episode, did it? I can't remember. Of course one comes over here to the overly, we to the weirdly architectural building. Wow, they make really creepy sounds. Listen to that, guys. Those moaning noises, that's creepy. That is creepy. Where are you? Oh, geez, he's just he's just taking a chill around the side of the building. Where are you? I can't take pictures of you at this angle. Come on, come out. Come out. I just want to take a picture of your face. Don't make me angry. <laughs> uh, don't challenge me. No, you little. I'm going down. Actually. It'll probably be ten times easier if I actually just come down here. Where he is. Where are you? He's probably like going to come around the corner and scare the crap out of me. I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. No, he's down there, of course. And he came up here when I could have taken a picture of him. You little jerk. Ugh. Come on. I'm a ghost. Ugh, stop complaining. My gosh. Oh, you're so annoying. <laughs> of course, you're just flying around the bottom where I can't see you. Okay, you can come out now. Come out, come out, wherever your freaking face is. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Don't make me punch you in the in your ectoplasmic nose! I got him. No, I totally didn't get him. This is ridiculous. Where do I? Where should I go stand, guys? Down here? There we go! Oh my gosh, it took forever! I'm coming, Neela, my gosh. We're gonna go throw these down her chimney. It took forever to get these for you, Neela. You better be happy. You better like our present. I'm gonna be pro and dodge these. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. I didn't. Oh, I dodged that one, though. I was pretty pro there. Oh, there. I completely forgot a cannon was. or a tank was coming right at my face. 
Let's climb up. Oh, there's the chimney. That's a tiny chimney. Are they going to fit? So the Contessa wants war, eh? Perhaps it's time I purchase a little air power. A few bombers should put that old charlatan in her place. Job completed. Sly. 50%. Nice. Halfway through the game, guys. All right, fellas. Let's get down to business. The first steps to escalating the war between Neela and the Contessa have gone well. We are down to the final setups before we spring our trap. Sly, I need you to steal a voice modulator from the castle and install it under Neela's headquarters. If all goes as planned, it should allow us to give orders to her mercenaries without being detected. Unfortunately, Neela's recent bomber purchase has made her army over-enthusiastic, and they might strike before we're ready. Which leads me to Murray. I need you to hotwire one of the Contessa's tanks and go to town on the mercenaries. We just need to intimidate them a little. And finally, I'll venture back into the crypts to power up that old computer in the re-education tower. We're going to need it to save Carmelita. Oh, and Sly, if you haven't already got one, you'll need to buy a paraglider for the heist. Okay, let's move out! Yep, we needed a paraglider. I'm glad I bought that then. I didn't want to have to run around and grind for coins. Now, I was, th I was thinking about doing the tank mission... But I actually want to do Bentley's mission. I think we could do that pretty well. Yes, we're going back into the crypts. Ooh, no, that's really scary. But we don't have to deal with that bad mojo meter thing. We just get to do a leisurely stroll through the crypts, right? Right, maybe. No, not at all. Um, but it's still, I th remember it being a fun mission so far. So we're going to try it out. We're going to see how we do. Whoa, dropping bombs on me. Maybe making bombers come wasn't the best idea. I love that there's a keypad to get inside her crypts. Well, I guess she really wants to protect her, uh... The ancestors or the... It's probably to protect the ghosts and stuff that she uses as her army. <laughs> the, uh, the, the weirdos that live down here, the werewolves. Complex medieval gauntlet of death. Yes. Well, while the idea of jumping down a crypt filled with whirling, razor sharp spikes might scare me, in fact, terrorized by every fiber, it's the only way to power up that old computer at the re education tower. Without that thing online, we'll never get at the clockwork eyes or free Carmelita. You're a good man, Bentley. Just make sure those traps don't rip you into a hundred little turtle pieces. Why'd you have to say that? <laughs> okay, I actually remember this one being pretty fun and pretty annoying at the same time. So we're gonna try it out. Fun plus annoying? I don't know what that makes. Actually, that was really easy. Let's see if the rest is. Oh gosh. I really think it looks cool. Medieval Gauntlet of Death. I mean, that's not that bad. I haven't been hit once yet. I, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> See, look, Bentley was born to do this stuff. He should be in an Indiana Jones movie! Okay, never mind. I completely lied. Okay, I, I just got hit. <laughs> and I'm almost dead. I better go find something to smash up. Uh, and get health from. What the heck? These are weirdly styled. Like, well, not weirdly styled. They're styled in, um... Uh, spinny death spike things. Ooh! Someone has a giant squid. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Why? Why, Contessa, do you have one? Um, oh, I can't smash. Uh, can I smash something, please? Ooh, yay. Oh, you didn't give me health. Okay. Aha! This acid battery should do the trick. Just walk close to the electrode and voila! Prepare to be hacked, you name. Woo! Now, you see, since I'm still in the same recording session as I, uh... As we first talked about the... When we talked about the bell pepper things. 
the red bell pepper guys. I asked you to make a name for the uh, the shooty guys. Um, I don't exactly know that yet. So it, until like I check comments, and if you have come up with the name, then I think maybe the next recording session that will come into action. Because right now it's the exact same recording session as the time when we uh when we uh did when we freed mission I'm uh, freed mission when we freed Murray from the from cell block D. I I like to uh I like to record all in like I like to record in a bunch all in one sitting. So like I have all the ones I need for the week, all the episodes like to fill up the days of the week. It's cool for me. I just can't do it every I can't record like every night, every day. I just like have a lot of work to do school wise. And recently I've been in a lot of activities. I wanna tell you about what I'm doing this weekend, which I actually did last weekend. Um after this cutscene. I'm dead serious. I'll get you. I'll get you, I'll get you. I mean it, I'll get you. Yes, yes, so I've heard. That's one down, two to go. I had better not take any damage while carrying this battery to the other terminals. It is, after all, filled with acid. Anyway, um... for another session of Hacking Mastery. Okay. Oh, wow, that didn't last long. Okay. Anyway, um... Yeah, well, I was gonna tell you, like, last weekend and this weekend, like, okay. tomorrow, I think. I'm actually... I actually, um... I'm going to run the concession stands at one of my school's football games, which um, actually was really fun doing that. I was on popcorn duty, and I shoveled popcorn like a trooper with my popcorn team. Dang it, this is hard. But yeah, we, uh, we mass-produced bags of popcorn, and it was really fun, actually, and it was crazy, too. It was hectic. Like, for a while... Like, we had to totally shovel those things out because everybody wanted popcorn for some reason. Like, once you finish a bag, we want more popcorn! And then, like, oh, you can't supply it? Darn. Then, the, then like, your customers have to wait for a bit while, while you wait for the thing to pop, then you shovel it in. But, uh, we eventually got it. Am I going to fail completely the entire way through? But, yeah, we eventually got it, and it was really a lot of fun. I enjoyed being on popcorn duty. I was like popcorn master with my popcorn team. I did window duty for a bit and sold some things, but um, it just wasn't as fun as the intenseness of popcorn duty is. <laughs> Maybe I'll do nacho duty tomorrow. I don't know. I I I, I really like popcorn duty. I think I'll go back to the popcorn team though. Let's be vigilant here. Oh, why did I do that? That was stupid of me. Uh. <laughs> There are spots where I can jump. Duh. Ugh. Let's try this again. But yeah, I think I, I think I might go back to the popcorn team. Either popcorn or nachos. I don't know. Pizza team doesn't really do much. I don't think pizza team does as much. I mean, you take the pizza out of the box, you cut it up, put it on a plate. Then, uh, then whoever wants it, you take it to the you take it to the window, and then they sell it. But uh, popcorn duty is an intense battle between the salty goodness that is popcorn. And when I say intense battle, it's really not that intense. Well, actually, it was. It was intense. Everyone wanted popcorn that night. Once you make a bag, and you finally get it out to someone, they're like, Oh, we need more popcorn! And you're like, oh no, we're low on supplies. We need to get more popcorn going. And then, like, the entire chain of popcorn. Popcorn, popcorn, popcorn! It just keeps coming out. It's great. Great fun. You guys should do it sometime. Man, a popcorn stand. Experience what I have. Experience the great experience that is popcorn duty. <laughs> and like afterwards, near the end of the game, like when you have the extra hot dogs and stuff, we went around and uh, we sold some extra hot dogs for like on a discount. And that was really fun too. I got to walk around the field shouting like, Get your hot dogs! Like one dollar hot dogs! And nobody bought any from me. But then like I, uh, I was doing it with a friend and I handed one of my... Uh, like, we split, like, we had four hot dogs, and I handed two of them to my friend to sell. They bought one from him. Not from me, though. <laughs> Whatever. It was cool. It was good for him. They they made some sales. But, um, I didn't make any sales. Which was too bad. What was it? Maybe I should dance for them, to like, tomorrow night. Maybe people would buy it more if, like, I entertained them and shouted more. I don't know. 
like, what does it take for you guys to want, what do you guys want out of popcorn? What do you guys see in the perfect popcorn? Instead of your conscious mind, it might help to get around your super ego. But yes, what is your idea of the perfect popcorn? The salty, the buttery. By the way, um, when you look at popcorn, the butter on it is not butter, really. It's buttery topping. Stuff like that. Except, it's basically like, it's, it's basically a lot of oils. And in the bottle of the buttery topping, <laughs> oh, it looks so weird. It's, uh, it's like really thick and yellow. This is the stuff you pour in with, like, the kernels, to, and you pop the popcorn, and it comes out all buttery and salty, right? Like, you pour it in, and it's really thick and yellow. And it's just really weird looking. And, like, I will never look at popcorn the same way again. <laughs> Whoa. Um, because now I know what buttery, what the butter is. It still tastes good, though, but... Gosh darn it, you stupid pendulums! Uh, but, yeah, I like popcorn myself. I'm fine with popcorn, but I prefer to, um... I, I think about... Uh, now I have to think about the butter. <laughs> now I have now I have to think about, like, what is in the popcorn. I don't know. Don't I don't want to discourage you guys from ever eating popcorn ever again. Popcorn is a wonderful experience, and you should taste it. How come this was easier the first time through, and I totally was extra pro and dodged everything, and now coming back, I'm getting my butt whooped? Like, what's going on? Crap, ugh, can't you just, like, hold the battery over your head and get a grip on it, Bentley? Are you joking? Are you joking with me, Bentley? Ugh. Okay, Bentley, gosh. I can understand being hit with a pendulum, though. I mean, that thing's freaking big. If that thing, like, ran into you, you would probably die. Um, an extremely pain. Dang it! Ah! Cussing! Swearing! Doopily! Ding dong doodle! Okay. Yeah, one more and you can get out of here if you can make it past the pendulums of death first and the, obviously the spiky logs of doom these keep getting me too like i'll get close ah! i was close come on are you joking are you joking with me are you trying to tell a funny knock knock joke and then you get to the punchline and it stinks i think you are that wasn't even a good punch. What are you doing? Why are you a stand-up comedian anyway? What are you- Pendulum! You know what? Uh, you know what? I'm leaving this joint. You know what? I'm leaving this joint. This is not quality entertainment. Um, I demand a refund for the show. Uh, why are you a stand-up comedian? Pendulum. And spiky logs of various types of doom. Oh my gosh, that was close. Yeah. Why are you trying to be a stand-up comedian? What's your problem? You're not even that good of a stand-up comedian. It, it, it's sad, really. Oh gosh! Oh, I totally thought I was gonna screw up. Oh, that was rough there. <laughs> okay, let's try this very last one, and then, then I think we'll call it an episode. Man, these are uh, these really slow ones. I know what to call these slow red ones. These are zombies. They cr they creep in on you so slowly. Like we got the red bell peppers and we got the zombies here, and the zombies are being extra slow. I don't like. Well, that they're zombies. They're supposed to be extra slow, of course. That's why I name them zombies. That's why I call them zombies. They are the zombie things. Like, just because of their actions. Why isn't there like a shooty guy? Oh no, he's intimidating. He's frightening. <laughs> We're gonna try to kill him. Um, this is this is more of the uh, the the uh, higher class super version of the red dudes that shoot things. We easily got past him though. Don't you want to be my friend? No, you horrible eight-legged cow. No. She's not a cow. She's a spider. She's a spider. My work here is done. Carmelita is silly. She thinks she's a cow. Cows don't have eight legs. 
silly Carmelita. I want to get rid of this acid battery. I hate running everywhere and getting hit, like, killed in one hit. 51%! Oh, yeah! Anyway, I think let's call that an episode. So, I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Bye, guys.